சதைக்க பிரியதர்ஷனம் அஜானநாசகம் தேவம் சத்குரு முரளீதரம் ோஜனம் சகிஷ்ணுர்ஜோஜயோஜேத்தாவிஷ்வோனு பிராஜிஷ்ணவே நம ஸ்ரீ ஆதிசங்கர பகவத்பாதாள் சேஸ் பிரகாஷைக்கரசத்வாத் பிராஜிஷ்ணு Bhagavan is called Bhrajishnu because he is radiant. His very nature is effulgence. So Bhagavan is called Bhrajishnu. Shri Parashara Bhattar says, Idameva yathoktam vyuhya Bhrajishnu. Bhagavan manifests as the vyuhas, Vasudeva, Sankarshana, Pradyumna and Aniruddha. And these vyuhas, these manifestations of Bhagavan are are effulgent in nature so bhagavan is called bhrajishnu he further says upasitribhya prakashana shilaha bhagavan reveals himself to his worshipers so bhagavan is called bhrajishnu bhojanaya namaha shri adi shankar bhagavat padar says ோஜனம் Bhagavan is called Bhojanam because he is enjoyed with pleasure by his devotees or worshippers. In Srimad Bhagavatam, we see how Dhruva, a mere child of five, wanted to experience and enjoy Bhagavan with all his indriyas, with all his sense organs, when he had the darshan of Bhagavan. Shri Shukacharya says, Tad darshane na gada sadhva sakshitav avanda tangam vinamaya dandavat மதுரகீதம்ரி உன்னை பார்த்து கொண்டிருந்தாலே போதுமே கண்ணா வேறென்ன வேண்டும் எந்தனுக்கு He says, Krishna, all I want to do is just keep looking at you. Just drink in your beauty. I want and I need nothing else. ஸ்வயம்ர்பிதேமிரோக்தா Bhagavan is called Bhokta because he enjoys the things offered to him by his devotees. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan himself says, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam Yomai Bhaktiya Prayachati Tadaham Bhaktiya Pahritam Ashnami Prayatatmanaha Bhagavan says, whatever a devotee offers to me, be it a mere leaf or a flower or a fruit or just plain water, if it is offered with love, Bhagavan says, I eat it. Bhagavan accepts everything that is offered with love by his devotees. So he is called Bhokta. In a very beautiful Madhura Gita, Sharanam Sharanam Sadguru Natha, our Guru Maharaj teaches us how to surrender unto a Guru. In that Kirtan, he sings, Iha Swagatam Keshava Naham Vidurah 
शबरी पुष्पमिदम गजेन्द्र कलभमिदम अर्पितम नाहम वाइल ऑफरिंग फ्रूट टू भगवान वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर शबरी हु ऑफर फ्रूट विथ सच लव दैट भगवान रामचंद्र प्रभु एक्सेप्टेड इट When we offer a flower to Bhagwan, we have to remember Gajendra Arwar, who offered a beautiful lotus to Bhagwan with so much love that Bhagwan accepted it. Bhagwan accepts everything when we offer it with love. Without love, whatever we do, it is of no use. In another Madhura Gita, our Guru Maharaj himself sings, "Bhava mila da, bhajaniye no." भक्ति इवन इफ इफ दिस इट इज डिवॉइड ऑफ लव इट इज ऑफ नो यूज सहिष्णवे नम श्री आदिशंकर भगवत पादार से भगवान इज कॉल्ड सहिष्णु बिकॉज हिरण्याक्षादीन सहते अभिभवती सहिष्णु भगवान सब्ड्यूज दैत्यास लाइक हिरण्य कशिभु सिंस भगवान वैंक्विशेस हिज ओपनेंस भगवान इज कॉल्ड सहिष्णु श्री पराशर भट्टर से इस तेषाम आपि मुख्यात प्राक ऊर्ध्वं च संचितानां बुद्ध्या अबुद्ध्या च सकल करणैहि सर्वदा सर्वथा च प्रचीयमानानां विधि निषेध शासन अतिलंगनात्मना साधारणानां He forgives all the sins that we might do in the future, knowingly, unknowingly. We might have committed so many sins. Bhagwan forgives everything. Bhagwan forgives the sins that we do at all times in all ways. He forgives even the sin of insulting Bhagwan himself. As a matter of fact, Bhagwan forgives the worst of all sins, the sin of insulting his devotees. Since Bhagwan is so forgiving, Bhagwan is called Sahishnu. because bhagwan is so forgiving in a very beautiful madhura geetam our guru maharaj prays pa bangaleni manne tarulvai entandaye vandana mudanak andre mudal indru varai naan seida pa bangaleni manne tarulvai श्री आयशंकर भगवत पादाड़ से हिरण्य गर्भ रूपेण जगदाद उत्पद्य थे स्वयं जगदादिज भगवान मैनिफेस्ट हिमसेल्फ has this cosmic egg as hiranya garbha at the very beginning of this universe so bhagavan is called jagadadija shri parashara bhattar says atha vibhaveshu trimurti madhyavataro jagadadija jagadadi bhutasu trimurtishu anyatamatvena jataha iti bhagavan's incarnation as lord vishnu the second of the trinity is signified by this name jagadadija since bhagwan was born as lord vishnu in the beginning of this universe bhagwan is called jagadadija in vishnu purana brahma ji himself says yasya prasadat aham achyutasya bhuta praja sarga karonta kari krodha cha rudraha sthiti hetu bhuto yasma cha madhye purusha parasmat he says by the grace of lord achyuta i am the creator of all the beings and lord rudra is the destroyer of all the beings and between us lord vishnu is the sustainer of this entire universe 
So Bhagwan is called Jagadadi Jagadadi. Anaghaya Namaha Shri Adi Shankar Bhagavad Padar says, Agham na vidyate asyeti anaghaha. Agha means since. The Shrutis describe Bhagavan as someone who is devoid of all sins. Since Bhagavan is free of all sins, Bhagavan is called anagha. Shri Parashara Bhattar says, Evam samsara madhye janitvapi anagaha. Papa pratispardhi. During the Vibhava avatara, during the incarnation of Bhagavan as Sri Rama or as Sri Krishna, Bhagavan incarnated in this world. He was born amidst this samsara. In spite of being born amidst the samsara, Bhagavan is totally unaffected by samsara. So Bhagavan is called anagha. Indeed, even the devotees of Bhagavan, those who hold Bhagavan within them, even they are totally free of all sins because they have this Anagha Bhagavan inside them. They also become Anagha. That is the greatness and glory of Bhagavan. In Sri Bhagavatam, when King Bhagiratha prays to Ganga Mata, asking her to flow in the Bhuloka, she hesitates. At that time, King Bhagiratha says, King Bhagiratha says that the Lord of the devotees who are totally devoid of sins because they hold Bhagavan in their heart will bless Ganga Mata with their contact and thus purify her. And so she need not worry about flowing in Bhuloka. And that's how he convinces Ganga Mata to come down to this earth. Vijaya Namaha Shri Adi Shankara Bhagavad Padar says Vijayate Jnana Vairagya Aishwaryadi Bihi Gunaihi Vishwamiti Vijayaha Bhagavan excels in everything. Bhagavan excels in Jnana, in knowledge, in Vairagya, in dispassion, in Aishwarya, in greatness. He excels in everything. So Bhagavan is called Vijayaha. Shri Parashara Bhattar says, Murtyantarayor api srishti samhara adibihi jagat vijayo asma titi vijayaha. Bhagavan controls everything. Even the srishti and samhara, the creation and destruction, which are actually done by Lord Brahma and by Lord Rudra, are done with the guidance of Bhagavan. So Bhagavan is called vijayaha. Mahabharata says, Tadadarshita panthano srishti samhara karakau. Jetre Namaha Shri Adi Shankar Bhagavad Padar says Yatoti Shete Sarva Bhutani Svabhavataha Ato Jeta By his very nature, Bhagavan transcends all the created beings, so Bhagavan is called Jeta. Shri Parashara Bhattar says Tayorapi Jeta Swabi Prayeshu Avasthapaita Bhagavan conquers all. He conquers even Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. So Bhagavan is called Jeta. It's only Bhagavan who is truly victorious always. No one else can be victorious always. Since it's only Bhagavan who is always victorious, Bhagavan is called Jeta. And that is why whenever we praise Bhagavan, whenever we do a stuti for Bhagavan, we find that in Srimad Bhagavatam, many of them start with this Jaya Jaya. The Shrutis themselves extol Bhagavan and when they extol Bhagavan, they start by saying Jaya Jaya Jahiya Jam. They start by saying Jaya Jaya. In a very beautiful Mantra Geetam, our Guru Maharaj also hails Bhagavan and says Jaya Jaya to him. And he sings Jaya Jaya Krishna, Jaya Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vijayi Bhava, Jaya Jaya Krishna, Jaya Jaya Krishna, Jaya Jaya Krishna. Jaya Vijayi Bhava Jaya Jaya Krishna Vishwayonaye Namaha Shri Adi Shankara Bhagavad Padar says Vishwam Yoni Rasyeti Vishwaschasau Yonishcheti Va Vishwayonihi 
सिंस भगवान इनकारनेट्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड दिस वर्ल्ड कैन बी स्पोकन ऑफ एज द कॉज फॉर भगवान इनकारनेशन सो भगवान इज कॉल्ड विश्व योनी द वर्ल्ड कैन ऑल्सो लीड एस टू इन फॉर भगवान सो ऑल्सो भगवान इज कॉल्ड विश्व योनी भगवान इज कॉल्ड विश्व योनी ऑल्सो बिकॉज ही इज द यूनिवर्सल कॉस He is the sole cause of this universe, so Bhagwan is called Vishwa Yoni. Shri Parashara Bhattar also says, Vishwa Sya Karya Prapancha Sya Pi Karanam Vishwa Yoni. Bhagwan is the cause for the effect called this universe, so Bhagwan is called Vishwa Yoni. Punar Vasave Namaha. श्री आदिशंकर भगवत पादार्ड से भगवान इज कॉल्ड पुनर्वसु बिकॉज पुनः पुनः शरीर वसती क्षेत्र रूपेण इति पुनर्वसु भगवान ड्वेल्स इन द बॉडीज एज इंडिविजुअल सेल्फ एज क्षेत्र सिंस भगवान ड्वेल्स इन द बॉडीज एज क्षेत्र अगेन एंड अगेन पुनः पुनः भगवान इज कॉल्ड पुनर्वसु श्री प्रशर भट्टर से पुनः तत्प्रभृतिषु अंतरात्मतया वसती चीज पुनर्वसु भगवान रिसाइड्स इनसाइड ऑल द गॉड्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम इवन लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा एंड लॉर्ड रुद्रा हैज देयर इनर सोल और अंतर्यामी सो भगवान इज कॉल्ड पुनर्वसु हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राधे राधे